Before we jump into today's mailbag, we are going to uh, ask you guys to subscribe to the channel because we update you on the latest Chiefs news and rumors. Playoff push is ongoing, so hit that sub button. Join Chiefs Kingdom here on the Chiefs Report as I will bring you videos every single day in addition to some help from the Chat Sports team. So go ahead and subscribe today for more free videos, and let's jump into this mailbag. I'm Harrison Graham. Appreciate everybody for submitting their questions on today's show. Keep doing so. Hashtag Chiefs or Super Chat. We'll answer as many as we can here on today's mailbag. So we'll go ahead and jump on in here. Tony Fuentes says, will we do great in the playoffs? We can't get these mistakes. Yeah, I mean, look, if Patrick Mahomes throws three picks in a playoff game, you're probably going to get beat, right? I mean, there's going to be a lot of better teams than uh, the Denver Broncos, uh, but uh, – I will also say there probably won't be a ton of defenses as good as Denver. Denver has a loaded defense, so uh, I think, you know, this team knows how to win in the playoffs. Uh, you know, you got a young secondary that can be concerning come January and February, but uh, I still think the Chiefs, Chiefs have a great shot. Dip4903, I know it's unlikely, but could you see the Chiefs trading for Brandon Cooks? For an offseason trade, trade deadline's passed, so you can't do it right now, but – I could actually maybe see that in the offseason. Say Juju walks. Uh, you want to get you know someone in here that can contribute. Brandon Cooks for like a third-round pick maybe, something like that. Uh, I wouldn't completely rule that out. I think he'd be a good fit here. Our junior, who could the Chiefs get in free agency or in the draft? Let's say a wide receiver one because Juju is a two. Um, I mean, if you're picking, let's just say the Chiefs have – I'll just throw it up, 30th pick, losing the AFC title game, something like that. Uh, hopefully they have the 32nd pick because that means they won the Super Bowl. But, uh, you know, uh, I don't know if you're getting a n true number one at that point in the draft. Maybe if Jackson Smith and Jigba slips a bit since he didn't play much this year, I think he's got wide receiver one potential. Maybe you move up into the 20s to get him because I still think he'll go before 30. Um there's not a free agent that you're going to get a number. I mean, Juju's the best receiver in free agency, unless you're saying it's Odell Beckham and OBJ just hasn't played enough in the recent years. So, um, yeah, I, unless you're trading for DeAndre Hopkins or something like that, uh, you know, bringing back Juju's probably a good move. Chiefs lover 480. If the Chiefs lose early in the playoffs, should Spags and Bienemy get fired? I do think it's a possibility. I mean – and there were all kinds of rumors last offseason about Eric Bieniemy. You know, also, could he get a head coaching job finally? We'll have to wait and see. St Steve Spagnolo has been under fire from the fan base, and I do get it to an extent. I'm not defending Spag saying he's this all-world defensive coordinator, but I will continue to say that the defense is better and has been better under him than it was the last few years under the prior D.C. That's, that's just a fact. Uh, you know, Spag's defense came up huge. When the Chiefs won the Super Bowl, you can't dispute that. So, uh, But that's three years ago. Obviously, the last year wasn't very good. This year's been a little better, but not a ton better. Uh, I do think if there's a loss in the wild card or even the divisional round, there could be some change on the staff. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Should the Chiefs fire Spags and be enemy with an early playoff exit? What do you guys think? Type Y for yes or type N for no. I think it's possible. Let me know. Beach Bro, Lou Dog, do you have any concerns on Travis Kelsey dropping wide open passes? He has had a couple drops. I wouldn't say I'm concerned. Um, more just like surprised, frustrated with it, uh, which he you can tell he is too. He's like, what am I doing? Um, you know, the one was behind him. Another one was like full extension. So they're not necessarily just easy, easy catchers. There have been a couple concentration drops, but – I wouldn't say I'm concerned, but, uh, yeah, I mean, in a big game, you, you need him to make uh, make those plays. There's no doubt. Shot Jamison, would you swap Brown and Tooney on the O-line? Tooney played good last year against the Bengals, and Brown seems to play better with less space. I don't think 15 weeks into a season they're going to flip their left tackle and left guard. Now, can Tooney play over there? Yeah, he can. He's, he's done it before. Um, but – Brown has not played guard in the NFL. So I, I don't think that that type of change would come. If anything, uh, they would just bench Orlando Brown, but they're not going to do that either. I don't. If there's any change on the offensive line, I would expect it to be a right tackle. Cole Keller, do you think once the Donkeys uh, die, Nate Hackett and Biennemi has another job, the Chiefs would be a good fit for Hackett? Hell no. 
No, you can't bring bring Nate Hackett into Kansas City. No, it's been a disaster. That's that's not gonna happen, guys. You can't hire Nathaniel Hackett. If assuming he gets fired, is about as unfireable as it gets right now. I mean, maybe in the future, future, but like. No, like he's he, he he's a walking meme at this point. Uh, I, I I don't think that would happen. Today's show is sponsored by Fetch. Something that should happen is uh, you start scanning your receipts with the Fetch app. Download it today. Chatsports.com slash Fetch is their today's sponsor. Fetch is super easy to use, and it's a free app that you can download on your iPhone or Android. Uh, it lets you earn re- rewards on literally anything you buy. All you got to do is scan any physical or e-receipts, and you will earn points for your purchases. The process only takes seconds, uh, and this is how you do it. You open the Fetch app, press the orange button, which you can see on your screen, and snap a photo of your receipt, then hit submit. And once all that happens, you'll see the confetti pop showing. That'll tell you that you have earned some reward points. It's a simple process. You can also click the e-receipt function to get rewarded for your Amazon purchases or other online shopping by syncing your email account. You can then redeem points for Amazon gift cards, Starbucks, or any of the other thousands or hundreds, I should say, retailers or restaurants available. Uh, We're going to give you 5,000 bonus points, by the way, when you use promo code chat when you sign up today. Download the app, chatsports.com slash fetch. Use promo code chat to get 5,000 bonus points and get snapping. Don't be like me. I used to say, no, I don't want my receipts. Well, I'm taking them down. I'm scanning them, and I'm getting those points. Chatsports.com slash fetch. Promo code is chat. Lennon Ackerman, do you think Isaiah is and will be our RB1? Yes, he's RB1. Now, Jarrett McKinnon has a big role in this team. As a pe- pass catcher, he's easily the best you have. But Pacheco's your lead back as a runner. McKinnon is your third down slash kind of hurry up back, right? If you're in kind of no huddle mode, he's going to be the guy that's out there. Uh, it'll be a lot of split snaps, but in run situations, Pacheco's definitely the guy. Kevin Gonzalez, try for a trade for Saquon in the offseason. Well, he's a free agent, so you don't have to trade for him. Now, he could be franchise tagged and then traded. So, But I like Pacheco and McKinnon as a one-two punch. I would bring back McKinnon for another year. Pacheco, I think, can be the lead back. Uh, I think you're good to go. AJ says, why not go get the D.C. that was with Miami? Talking about uh, Flores, their former head coach, Brian Flores. Maybe you could do that, or you could go get a Jim Leonard from Wisconsin who the NFL really likes if you were to move on from Steve Spagnuolo, but um, we'll see. We'll see if Spags is still here next year or not. Beach Bro and Lou Dog, do you think the O-line is disappointing after the big hype up in the offseason? A bit. Uh, I still think it's a good O-line, uh, but obviously right tackle with Andrew Wiley, it, it's never going to be great with him. I think he's been steady, but – he obviously has limitations. Uh, Orlando Brown's been disappointing up and down. Still has had good moments, but hasn't been the guy that wanted that huge contract. I think the interior is good, though. You got Tooney uh, and Trey Smith at guard, and then Creed Humphrey's one of the best centers in the league. So it's still a good group, uh, but I thought it had a chance to be the best in the NFL, and that has not been the case. Chad Jamison, do you think Orlando Brown would be a better guard? Similar switch to what happened to Eric Flowers a few years ago. I mean <laughs> – The difference there is Eric Flowers was like the worst tackle ever. Like, he was just so bad that they had to try him. I mean, look, I've been dogging on Orlando Brown. I don't think he's horrendous. I I, I think he's still a decent player. He just hasn't lived up to what he's supposed to be. That's the problem. Uh, I don't think you need to move him to guard. Uh, Now, should he have never gone from right tackle to left tackle once he left Baltimore? Maybe. I mean, he wanted to be a left tackle because he knows left tackles make more money. Could he be better as just a right? Perhaps. I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah, I mean, there's some things to figure out when it comes to Orlando Brown. All right, the little exercise here. Type the first word that comes to mind. It can be football-related, non-football-related. Repo- Keep it PG-13. Type the first word that comes to mind. Next up is Jerome Baker's. Eric Bieniemy to the Broncos. Kind of surprised EB didn't go to Colorado instead of prime time. I'm not. If if Colorado can get Deion Sanders, I don't blame them for doing that. Obviously, Bieniemy played at Colorado. Um, the only reason I would say he wouldn't go to the Broncos is it would feel very like a Hackett hire to me. Like, oh, let's just get the OC from a good offense, even though he's never been a head coach before. So I think if Denver 
Fires Hackett, they're going to get a guy with experience. Think like a Dan Quinn, the Cowboys DC, who's been a head coach before and gone to a Super Bowl. I think they're going to want a guy who's done the job before, not a first-year guy like the enemy would be. Jalen says, should we trade up in the draft and get Jalen Carter from Georgia? You're going to have to trade up a lot. Even if the Chiefs lost early in the first round and we're picking in the early mid-20s, Carter's going top five at worst. I mean, barring a medical or an off-the-field issue between now and the draft, he is a top five lock, maybe top three. So that would be awesome, but uh, that's quite a leap to move up from where they're going to be picking to the top five. Joe Fazio, why does it seem like the Chiefs have trouble adjusting once they get in trouble? When they melt down, they melt down. It just seems like they struggle riding the ship during games. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it's hard to nitpick. I, you know, I, I think what a lot of this is is people have PTSD from the AFC title game last year. Once that game started to slip, they could never get back on track. So they watched the Denver game the other day, and they're like, oh, well, you know, once once one mistake happened, it turned into two, three, and then just nothing went right. So, yeah, it's frustrating when that happens. I don't think it's some, like, habit, though, right? Like, the Bengals lost this year and the Bills lost this year was not – those weren't meltdowns. You just got beat. Um, so I don't think they've – you know, it's it's some habit that they have now. But, yeah, it has happened a time here, a time there over the past couple of years. And, you know, certainly you can't afford for that to happen in the playoffs. You can't let one bad mistake cost you a game. you you got to right the ship and get back to work. All right, I appreciate all the questions today. Some good ones in there. So shout out to the kingdom here. Follow me on social media if you have any more questions. Slide in the DMs. It's at HGramNFL on Instagram. Same handle on Twitter as well, at HGramNFL. Give me a follow. Slide in the DMs. I'll always be down to answer some questions over there when it comes to the Chiefs or the NFL. 